whispers and I'm trying to do that more for you guys because sometimes I just forget because um, I personally my favorite videos are soft spoken so maybe now I'll have a more even mix um, okay so what I was saying was and I'll try to do this more quietly um, big guy. It actually says Mardi Gras Coors Light, which is funny because at the time when I would have had this, I was not old enough to drink. <laughs> I am. Um, that has been several years younger they would go to things and come back with 
simple on their on their bed, so that's really funny to me that I did that. I don't know why I did that. And I also don't know why I kept these and put them in a box <laughs> under the bed. Maybe that's just because they're pretty and I hate to throw away things that are pretty. In hindsight, it probably would have been better to untangle these beads first before making a video, and also to put something underneath them because I'm sure they're quite loud and probably not very relaxing, but this gold one, unfortunately, I don't have any good story for you about this because I'm not sure where this came from, and I know I've had probably hundreds more beads over my lifetime just from buying them for different Halloween things or concerts or whatever. Um, but I can tell you that at my parents' house, one of our traditions is that at Christmas, when we decorate our Christmas tree, we usually have one of those. It's a really pretty, uh, the theme of our tree is sort of silver and gold or is it raining outside? No. Um, a silver and gold with white lights or like a, a gold and bead I mean a gold and a pearl theme and we've done that my whole life and uh, one thing that we do is we have these massive long, long I don't even know how long strands are sort of like these. They're bigger and I'm sure probably cost more money than these beads. They're slightly bigger uh, little spheres of gold and they're not quite uh, there are some that are this color, like the one in my hand but then the other ones are a little more like a brassy gold color, if that makes sense like a deeper, darker gold so I have rows and rows of ones. Like this. Which, these are sort of a pink color. But we have pearl beads like this that are white. We also have strands of ones that are, uh, I think the word for it is iridescent that have that, they have like a, uh, like that frosted look, but they have different colors in them, like rainbow sort of effect. And then we also have clear beads, which are sort of shimmery, which would remind you of diamonds or something when they catch the light, so it depends on the mood we're in when we decorate, but we alternate with those, and it's really pretty effect when they have the white light against them. I can't remember ever in my whole life, and I'm, I'll just tell you guys, I'm 24 now. I can't ever remember having, um, colored lights on our Christmas tree. Both of my sets of grandparents did. My mom's side always had colored lights, and even the lo those lava lamp lights things sometimes. My dad's family has always had colored lights, which I find to be really pretty. But my dad has always thought they were tacky. And I remember that made me so mad because all my friends would have really pretty lights in their yards and stuff and on their trees. And it, I don't think I really appreciated it until maybe like middle school uh, was when I was really creative. I guess I can remember being starting to be creative in 
and so I think I appreciated it more how pretty it looked. Plus we have like a really nice sunroom at our house with a really big window so that people can see our tree and it looks really nice and, and I was a little brat so that's probably why I, I didn't like it. sisters. 